Hello there guys, welcome back to a brand new game of Chaos Reborn using the prototype and this time we have a 2 versus 2 match for you. I'm joined by game developer Julian Gollop. Hello there. And uh, we have two more wizards which we are up against this time. Yes, it's Fat Bat and Gorgias. Of course they're playing as a team, we don't know what they're thinking, what they're talking about. They're probably planning their strategy right this minute, so I think we had better get started. I am the first player, though. So uh, the thing is with team-based games is to uh, coordinate somehow with your uh, teammate. Now, it's an interesting situation because um, uh, you, uh, Unstable Voltage, you are right across from me. Yeah, we started um, at opposite ends. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to have a quick look at my spell selection. You have a look at yours, and we'll we'll see what we're good, what we're good for. I mean, I'm, I'm a very cursory look at mine. My, oh my, I've got a lot of neutral spells actually. What is your best um, alignment, law or chaos? Mm. Again, like you, I've got a lot of neutral. I've got four magic bolts. Wow, um, that's pretty powerful. I, I think the first thing you need to consider is getting on a mount then. I th let's just um, go for some neutral spells. I've got a couple of eagles, so I'm going to try and start summoning those t to have a, give them a quick threat, okay? Okay. So let's I'm gonna start with uh, an eagle, and I am going to cast my first one uh, and cast it real. Okay, that succeeded. Right, now it's the term of Fat Bat. He's the Red Wizard. He now the, he'll be considering his spells with his uh, teammate. The highest chance of a summon I have for anything currently is a Skeleton, which obviously is Chaos. And wow. if we're going to push, push things well towards lore, I should probably try and get that out early. Yeah, actually, I wish it had come for Chaos maybe. I've, I've got a Goblin as well, which would have been... Actually, I've got a Goblin and a Skeleton. I say most of my creatures are neutral, so... Yeah, yeah I, have, I have two mounts in the deck. They're both elephants. Okay, well, that's good. Ah, and you just decided to kill my eagle oh, <laughs> with dear. a magical attack. Uh, was it, yeah, the eagles are vulnerable to magical attacks. So it awful. should be noted that they are definitely playing to win. Yeah, uh, well, um, as you said then, let's try and push it towards chaos. I'm going to move myself just down into this corner a little bit because I can see that Fat Bat is moving towards me. Yeah, um, it's being aggressive. And I'm going to try and get that skeleton out because it is my highest chance of a summon. I do have a magic bow and a magic shield. Well, you're not in any immediate danger yet, so I would go for the skeleton. Oh, I do have a Pegasus as well, so it's not all terrible on the mount front. Yeah. I'm going to try good. and cast it real because I think I need to. And we'll see what happens. Oh, it fizzled out. Not it's a good not, start for me. Not looking good, no. Of course, they could both have a completely terrible hand of spells. Yeah, I'm going to have a look at your spells, actually. Um, you can look at your teammate's spells by selecting them and then pressing the View Spell button. So I'm just having a quick look at what you've got. All right, OK. I think I think you need to be going for a mount and then uh, trying to ride up close to one of one of them and and magic bolt them. To be honest, yeah. I think that's what you need just, to try and just do. Just try and um, go for a bit of an assassin attack, really. Yeah, I'm going to play it a little bit safe at the moment. Okay, he's obviously going for chaos, but I, I've got a skeleton as well. I'm going to start with a goblin now. I'm just going to cast it as illusion. Why? Why the hell not? Who knows? It's probably not going to disbelieve it. No, I mean, I would usually think that something that has a high chance to cast is probably nearly always going to be real. That that would be my yeah, mindset. Yeah, everybody would think that. So, you know, why not cast it as an illusion and, and, and avoid the 10% risk of it failing, <laughs> if you see what I mean. So, well, certainly a, a strategy. Who's, gonna, who's going to waste a turn trying to disbelieve something that's fairly low? Yeah. Ah, okay. we have a magic shield from Fat Bat there. He's still advancing. I suspect he might also have some magic bolts under his sleeve. Yeah, it's... I'm just trying to find somewhere where I can... I might move sort of forwards a little bit towards you. I'm not sure if that's going to help, but... 
You just bosses. have a range limit, I suppose. Either way, I'm moving towards one of them, so... I would, yeah, and I would try and summon your Pegasus because it's the best, uh, easiest to cast mount that you've got. Okay, let's let's try and move over here, keeping some terrain there, and then let's go for the Pegasus. I've got a feeling if I cast it Illusion, they're probably going to uh, instantly try and uh, disbelieve it, so... I don't think so. I mean, that's a strategy, because you've got two other mounts, you've got two elephants, so it's not as if you haven't got backups. Yeah, okay. actually, it might be worth trying it as Illusion. We'll see what happens. I, I don't think they will try and disbelieve it. Okay, so let, let's see how that works out. Of course, it would be also nice if I could then get my magic bow up as well. Absolutely. Got the dwarf heading towards me. Or you, possibly. Could be coming either way. Well, he's certainly thinking about this, isn't he? <laughs> Well, I do have do have a lot of magic bolts. But he's got a sword. No uh, dear. Yeah, but so have I. Definitely starting to feel between a bit of a rock and a hard place. What can I do to help out? I think the actually, well, I'm going to advance a bit forward with my wizard here. Uh, I'm going to try and protect myself with a magic shield because it seems to make the best sense right this minute. Okay, that's worked out okay. Now, if I can get on my Pegasus on this turn, I'm wondering yeah. if I can get close enough to Gorgias to uh, have a shot with a magic bolt. Absolutely, yes. You can get on your Pegasus. The Pegasus can fly one, two, three... Oh, no, not, not quite. Well, he could. You could take the high ground. Yeah, the magic bolt's got a range of three, so he's he's a little bit uh, I do, out of oh. reach unless you unless you fly next to his his dwarf. We have a unicorn for fat bat there. I would I think you've got a good idea. Yeah, I would I would fly next to his dwarf. You can attack the the dwarf with your Pegasus, and then you can magic bolt him with your wizard. Let's just hope he hasn't got one of his own. It's risky though because he's got a sword. He almost certainly will kill your uh, Pegasus, though. So that's uh, yeah, it's a tricky one. Mm. Let's try it. I've got two other mounts in the bag. Should I need be? And of course, we also know that it, the Pegasus um, is an illusion. So yeah, so it's vulnerable anyway. So I've only got a seventeen percent chance to uh, kill the dwarf with the Pegasus, but no, so. but it's worth a try. And we fail. Uh, but I can cast a spell, so let's go for a magic bolt. Are you in... Uh, have you got... I'm within sight? range. 50% um, yeah. chance. Yeah, it's worth it. Go for it. Oh! And it got him. <laughs> Went for the early kill. Took a risk, and it worked very well. And I think that's got them in trouble straight away. So I'll send my goblin straight towards Fat Bat. Now, I'm assuming that our victory points are added together for the purposes of a 2v2. They are. I have to manually do it for, for now. It's just for the yes. prototype. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so we've got a very ad advantageous lead now. Yeah, that, got, that has to do something. And we've got law plus 25%. So law spells are really easy to cast, which is not very useful for me because I don't have that many law spells. So I could try an attacking spell. I've got a magic attack decree... I'm going to cast it directly on his unicorn. 50% chance. Ah, okay. Okay, didn't work. Now, I do so, have a couple of giants in the bag. Yes, the uh, giants are enormously powerful, but they're, they're a little bit difficult to cast. But still, we're not in any uh No, I'm looking danger. at a 50% chance at the moment. Yeah. No, I'm still looking at you. What is he going to do? He's got on his unicorn. But is it real? Well, that's another point. We could try disbelieving it. I'm uh, expecting something defensive here. Oh, no, another unicorn. Hmm. Unicorn. Why would you summon another one if the original one was real? 
Or maybe the second one is the illusion and it's a double bluff. I'm not so sure it's likely to be an illusion. He's got law plus 33%, so I'm not sure he's relying on that. That you know, would give him a very high percentage chance to cast it as real. So I think it's real. Now, I'm thinking about moving myself up to behind your uh, goblin. Yeah. Well, uh, you should try and take the high ground somewhere after that. But yes, up behind my goblin is fine for now. Just so that he doesn't... Um, should try and keep him out of range as much as possible. And then I can get onto the high ground on the next turn. Yeah. So let's see if we can cast something. Now, I do have a Golden Dragon with a 53% chance. That's looking very good. It's looking very good. Can we push We're it? We're not in any real danger at the moment, so I think I'll try a real one. Unless you think that a well, illusion may serve as better, but... No, no, I think a real one is fine. I'm just wondering whether you should wait until we've pushed it more towards law, because you've got... Mm, quite possibly. You've got magic attack, you've got magic bow, you've got magic shield... That is a good point. I would try and cast Magic Bow, Magic Shield first. Yeah, I agree. I think if I cast my Magic Bow, it then puts a little bit of pressure on him and he's less likely to come running directly towards us because that would be a little bit suicidal. Yeah. My Goblin will ad advance because that's a sensible thing to do for now. Uh, he can't reach me with his Unicorn. I will also cast a Law spell to push it a little bit more towards law. Let's get a dwarf. I'll cast him as an illusion. Why not? So at least that way we still get the uh, yeah. extra three percent. It guarantees us the law shift, yeah. Okay, let's try and turn this camera angle around so we get a bit of a better view. I'm just waiting for the third unicorn to appear. Oh no, there we go. Goblin is dead. It, he's realised it's it was an illusion now, and he's probably cursing. But if he thinks that you're now willing to cast illusions on low-level creatures, maybe he's going to try and dispel that dwarf. Sure, but then again, once we get the dragon, or, or you know, if we get the dragon, we'll <laughs> have something a bit more serious to worry about. Don't have much in the way of utility at the moment. It'd be nice to have something like a, a gooey blob or a shadow wood, but. Uh... Oh, looks like he's going for the for the high ground and taking some cover. Now, of course, his his team or he, because there's anyone left on his he, team, is, is his team. Is he's behind on victory points? He really needs to be quite aggressive if he's going to stand a chance of winning this game. Yeah, you can't you can't play for a for a stalemate or a draw. No, in fact, so. we we don't really need to to uh, attack. Uh, at all, actually, we can try and build our defences. So, um, I mean, from your point of view, I would just put your wizard on side ground and see if we can uh, see if we can get a dragon. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to stay in. Well, I'm not stay in place, but not uh, not advance on him. Uh, Sixty-six percent for the dragon. That's good. Or should I pop the shield on this turn and wait for the dragon on the next? <sighs> well. I think he's also casting law creatures. Um, he does have that centaur up as well. So he's probably going to benefit also. I don't know. I will. We're I, not in any immediate danger. Let's try no. the dragon. It's got okay. a, it's got a um, two in three chance. So I'm going to go go for real. Okay. Then. Oh, and a success. Nice. So that uh, that is the real deal. Now a centaur is a little bit dangerous for me because he he can shoot with his bow, he's got a long range of attack, and in fact I'm not sure I can avoid being shot by him. Where can I go? I'll, try, I'll go this way. Try and put try something and in front of me, like a... Disrupt like his a, line of sight. A, an elephant that would be good. So I'm going to cast my elephant as an illusion, because he's got, him a target. he's got a lot to worry about now anyway. And I'm just going to advance my dwarf. Oh no, hold on, that's... I was, Try and block his unicorn from that angle. Okay, I just put my dwarf there. So I'm going to want to be quite aggressive with this dragon, of course. There's there's no point holding back now. We've got a massive advantage. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, let's see what he does. I'm sure he's going to try and advance with his centaur to try and shoot something, maybe from the high ground. He might even attack the dragon with his centaur. Will he be able to uh, to get quite that close? Two, well, he's, he's, yeah, he's just... got ranged combat, so... One, two, three, one, two, three, four. I think he can, just about. Well, that, was, that was lucky. So I think all I should be doing is... Uh, here he goes. Oh, no, he's going for the dwarf. He went for the dwarf, bizarrely. Hmm. Uh, maybe he's... maybe he's maybe he's got a hankering that that dragon's an illusion and he's going to go for the dispel. Oh, he's got one of his own. Ah, uh, now of course, this has made all the law interesting. Yeah. yeah, this has made it a bit more interesting. Is now it's down to who's got the most golden dragons in my. <laughs> um... So I should probably try and take oh. out the centaur with my dragon. Yes, definitely. I would have thought. I've got a 40% chance to hit it. I can only move within one hex of it, so I think this is going to be my ranged attack. Yeah, or was it worth... Mm. 50 to 64% chance on the unicorn. Yeah, Don't. the thing is, he might try to attack your dragon with the unicorn and the... What I would do is... Um... I think it's... Yeah, get into... No... No, actually, I'm almost inclined to say don't, don't, don't press just, the just, attack. Just attack his unicorn with your flame breath from where you are. Okay. You can. Yeah, that's so, what I would. So, do. I'll just just left click on it, and that yeah. should should attack. Yeah. A fifty-five percent chance. It says. Yeah, go for it. Oh, what and a fail! I can still cast a spell, of course. So. Yeah. Let's have a look what we've got. I mean, I could cast a. Magic shield. I could uh, use... I've got a magic attack justice, of course. Which we could use to try and take one of his creatures out. That might be good to use on his dragon. And he gets a little bit closer. So, let us try and get one of these giants out. Mainly for the purpose that I've never actually seen one yet. Yeah, giants are really nice. And again, I'm just wondering whether to go for an illusion or not. 50-50 chance. No, you... And I do have two of them. Well, let's try a real one, then. And it fizzled out. But So the second time, yeah. if I cast, I will do the, the illusion. He's got a lot of targets to pick from if he wants to try and start disbelieving things. So Yeah, okay. I'd, I'd... I'm going to win my turn. Uh, yeah, Just um, end your turn, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to win my turn, because I don't really think there's an awful lot that I can do. There's no point moving, really. No, I'm going to get on my elephant, and I'm going to try and retreat. He's going to be able to attack me with his unicorn. Um, now we're going to summon a creature in front now. What can I... Now, does the magic shield actually give you any protection for the mount that you're on, or is it purely no. just for the wizard? Just for the wizard, yeah. Now, I've got an, a giant as well, so I'm going to try and bring that out. I'll cast it as real. Oh, there oh, we go. got it. First time I've he's, seen the model for that. And he's a uh, huge hulking beast. With uh, half a continent on his shoulder. And we, we are seeing some retreat here. <laughs> oh, Why dear. did he choose to disbelieve your Pegasus, mm. I wonder? <laughs> That's interesting. I mean, he got it right. He guessed correctly. Yeah. But I'm not sure it really helps him. No, certainly he's... Uh, I'd have, I'd have gone for the dragon, to be honest. Well, I don't know. Well, actually, you got it right. Because, I mean, your dragon is real. And he, maybe he thinks, because it's now um, seriously reduced in mobility. Yeah, it's very difficult for me to get to him now and actually do anything. But then or again, maybe he's planning on chasing me down with something. But then again, you're, you're not the one who needs to move. He's the one who needs to attack. And you're actually in a, in a sort of safe place there on top of the plateau. He can't attack you from the ground below with his uh, ground attack creatures. No, he does have that centaur, though, of course. Uh, of course, the, the dragon will be able to get close enough. Not this turn, but maybe next turn. And the centaur. So we're definitely going to have to start doing something. Yeah, so the main I mean, thing is that he's going to go... He's going to try and get your wizard with his ranged combat units. He's got two uh, centaur the, and a dragon. The turn ended before I could see what the dragon actually hit. Was it yourself or was it the 
for the giant. Uh, yeah, I think it was going for the giant. Okay, so... Is it probably worth using my dragon to try and take out the centaur? I would say yes. Because, because you can my use giant will the giant to take out the yeah. unicorn. Uh, no, I'll try. If I if my giant is disengaged, I'll, I will try and attack his his dragon. But we'll see. What well, I didn't even click there. Hundo move right. <laughs> um, let's try and take out the centaur. Unfortunately, didn't work. I think need I need to, to back off your a wizard. little. Yeah. You need to. Uh, I think you're in danger unless I can stop the dragon. Now, I do still have, remember, three magic bolts, and I've also got uh, magic attack justice as well. Yeah, but you're, unless we unless we stop that dragon, he's going to be able to attack you next turn. Um, right. Magic shield then, possibly? Yeah, I would retreat and cast magic shield. I've, I've retreated as far as I can, so I'll go for the magic shield. Yeah, that's definitely sensible. And, uh, now let's see if I can actually move my giant or not. He doesn't have a a big. Oh yes, he's he's able to move. That's good. His agility is not good, but it's it was good enough. It's just a, a single space. Yeah. No, I can. Oh. Ooh, no, that's more stuff. like it. That's more like it. The giant is one of the few creatures that's capable of taking on a, a dragon. Uh, and my, winning. <laughs> yeah. So. Now, uh, my elephant is engaged to his unicorn. Let's try and dispatch that. No. So, what I've got to do now is cast a spell. And I'm now going to cast my magic sword, which gives a huge boost to my combat rating, my attack rating. Okay. No, you can just hit it in melee. Oh, no, because you've cast. You can't, you can't attack. Yeah. Well, and next turn, I, if he stays next to me, I'm going to slice him with my sword, yeah. So, he's in some uh, real trouble now. More retreat. Oh. <laughs> well, again, he did he <laughs> he did the correct disbelieve. Um, that's very good. That's very because because now his unicorn can attack my wizard, uh, which he just did. And he could have uh, he could have killed me at that point. It's a bit risky. But my wizard's got a shield, so he's well. It's, it's always worth that if you suspect that your opponent's uh, mount may be an illusion. Yeah, yeah. So, should I be trying to take out the unicorn with my dragon? To no, what I would help? do is move directly adjacent to the centaur and attack in close combat because you're a lot stronger in close combat with your dragon. Fifty-eight percent chance. Yeah. And we did get it, which is good. So I think I'm going to have to try and summon a mount now. Yeah. And I've got two elephants, 50-50 chance. I'm going to go for a real one. Yeah. And try and avoid uh, him doing that again. And I did get it, which is brilliant. Now, the first thing I could do is try and dispatch this unicorn. Which is also good. He must definitely be feeling the pressure now, especially as every piece on the board has just suddenly turned to face him. Yes. <laughs> uh, I, I've got a manticore. It's 40%, but I'm going to try casting it real. Why not? Oh, and I was lucky. Brilliant. Now, we've both just cast a mount and got them first time, and he's almost guaranteed to think at least one of them is an illusion now. I'm sure. And also, the fact that he's been doing uh, quite a few disbeliefs could be indicative that he doesn't have an awful lot of useful spells in his hand right now. Maybe. I expect him to come out with one of the more powerful magical attack spells now. Um, let's see. Yeah, there I was we trying go. to do disbelief again. <laughs> yeah, you baited him in well there. I wonder if he's going to try and do the same thing now with my elephant. So, I have um... no, ride your elephant. I guess um, yeah. the dragon can just advance towards him. I can't get too close. So I'm going to come forwards a little. What I might do is because I've got to cast something, or at least I can cast something. 
I'm going to have a go at casting... Actually, I'm going to summon the giant and I'm going to summon an illusion. Because I I get the feeling he's probably going to try and disbelieve my elephant before he disbelieves the giant. Yeah. And then let's start advancing the dragon. Yeah. I and think it's, the pressure is on. It's not looking good for him. Let's try summoning a spider. Oh, that works, that's good. Good, and that's a real one, I assume, then. It is real, yeah. I'm just going to stay where I am for the moment. Your options are limited. What are you going to do? But, of course, you know, there is no point. He's not going to win by waiting it out. No. He has to he has to try and take what he's going to waste too many turns trying to take out all of the creatures we have on the board, so Ah Ah Yes, he went for you, a powerful you, magical attack. So predict you predicted that one. Yeah, and he took out two creatures, so he did very well with that move. And we still have the dragon. Yeah. And we still have the giant that's an illusion. And of course, your manticore can also attack. Can do, yeah. Yeah. So I think I don't want to um, get to a position where I block you in. So I'm going to sort of move around the outside and try and come at him from the opposite direction. And I'm going to take my giant around there as well. Hopefully, he'll pick on that before he picks on me. And I guess I should just be aggressive with the dragon, really, because we are in an advantageous position. Yeah. Yeah. So the question is, what do I cast? Because I've got three magic bolts, and I've got a magic attack justice, and I could summon another elephant. Ah, uh, justice, let me see. It might be worth you using that on his unicorn. Yeah, certainly. Let's have a go. Might get closer. Probably don't have the. Oh, I do have the range. Thirty-eight percent chance. Yeah. But uh, well, got to cast something. So let's give it a go. Obviously, I can cast it on three targets, but there is only one. So let's give it a cast. Yeah, it and worked. Brilliant. It worked. Almost a shame you can't cast it multiple times on the same target. Giving you like a, a triple chance. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it, we don't have to attack him, but I, I think I almost feel obliged we to should, go we in. We should and put him, him out off. of his yeah. misery. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to advance uh, with my Manticore. Oh, Manticore did it. Brilliant. As almost tell you off for a little bit of a spoiler there, because there's a slight delay between it happening on your screen and happening on mine. Yes. But, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but uh, but brilliant. That was uh, that was a win. I think it was uh, compounded by the fact a little bit that uh, Gorgeous went down quite early in the fight. But uh, yeah, that's true. Um, he possibly was uh, a little bit careless, but it's difficult to say. I mean, again, uh, I think the the brilliant move, if I do say myself, was to to cast your Pegasus an illusion and and then go in for the attack. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth the risk. But uh, yes, that was, uh, again, a very enjoyable game. Thank you very much. Thank you.